What's going on guys? Bergs of Reviews back here again. This evening we've got Longhorn Natural Pouches and before we go any further, presentation. Okay, so this is pretty much just like the mint can except we've got a light brown background on it but everything else, I mean, it's pretty much the same 99 cent big ad all over the place. Um, once again, disposal lid. This time it is still unused. Um, when we go to the date, we have E2261857. E is uh, May 22nd, 2016. Just, uh, just need the uh, first four digits on the Pinkerton cans to determine that. Um, 0.82 ounces, Pinkerton, uh, at least 50% domestic. So, set on it. Hmm. All right, so I get a half snuff taste and a half, like, well, I, I think I smell the plastic of the can a little bit, but I also get a hint of the Cologne Perfumey Stoker's Natural. Um, so it's kind of a blend of those two. Not too pleasant. Uh, here you can definitely see what I was talking about, how the, how the pouches stick to the bottom of the can. I can turn it all the way over. Well, I don't want to do that. Yeah, you can turn it all the way over and the pouches don't fall out because they're stuck to the bottom of the can. Um, as you can see, it causes the pouches to kind of be a difference of color. Kind of strange, like I've been saying, the pouches are kind of sloppy the end there's more paper on one end than another and you can see it's not really like cut evenly but uh, nevertheless throw some dip in here for earlier there we go and we're not going to drink Chorus Light, we're going to drink Yangling. So, I um, did try these out when I, when I bought them. But definitely haven't dipped them as much as the mint, even though I thought the mint was so-so, I ended up going through them, as you know. Um, we kind of determined that last year was the date for the mint and natural pouches to come out. Still didn't look it up, but um, I don't think it's that really all that important. They haven't been out as long as the rest is the point there. Um, I already went through which Longhorns I had and all that in the last video, so uh, I think I covered that already. Price on it, ooh, excuse me, price on it is obviously was 99 cents. Like I said before, sometimes you see a little bit more, 139 or whatever, but still budget dip, maybe the least, com or uh, excuse me, maybe the most common budget dip, kayak also being pretty common. Um, actually picked up some kayak long cut mint used one of my coupons so we'll have to check that out um, and I still have a number of things to review that are just sitting here so nicotine on it low to medium um, maybe first thing in the morning you might feel it but right now I can tell you I'm not going to feel it at all because it's the end of the day. Um, texture and burn. All right, it's a natural. There's no real burn to it. Uh, maybe over time the salt might irritate you a little bit in on the gums. Um, but uh, texture of the pouch, okay. Like They're like all the Pinkerton pouches. I, I tend to think they don't quite fit the same, but they're all right nothing too much to complain about there now the taste um, 
it's real salty it's got a certain bitterness to it and just some other weird taste mixed in there um, definitely not a great natural I can tell you that already even not only having a couple out of here uh, before this really overwhelmingly salty for whatever reason I'm tasting it now maybe it's because of what I ate earlier or something but I don't know what it is but the salt is just too much um, like I said bitter also I it's hard for me to say it tastes like X or tastes like Y you know I can't put my finger on what it might taste like obviously it, it there's an underlying you know snuff taste whether you want to say cope snuff or grizzly snuff it doesn't really matter because that's not really what you taste anyway um, that's there um, maybe a little more grizzly 1900 well these days grizzly long cut natural um, being that that's a real salty dip but um, yeah these are these are pretty unpleasant I have to say um, there's no real other way to describe it last ability I honestly don't care I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be half an hour but um, yeah for whatever reason the taste is is bugging me more this time around than last time um, like I said could have been what I've been eating or drinking today but yeah um, when this video is over I'm probably spitting these out and uh, although I try to finish everything these might not get finished just because just a bad taste right now from these um, after taste is gonna be horrendous good thing we got beer here oh man that tastes so much better than this dip um, so this video is going to be a little on the short side, but we'll do our shout outs. We have full review, the Georgia Dippers, Stoker's Dipper, Peach Pride Dippers, Cope Dipper 137. Um, we'll just do the regulars today. Um, number of subscribers, I believe it was 237 last time I checked, so thanks to everybody that subscribed. Um, rating out of 10, Longhorn Natural Pouches. Not going to be good for me, I'm going to give them a two and a half out of ten all right maybe could be the worst rating I've given a dip um, but I'm not too sure about that you know uh, I give these ratings and I don't really I just kind of think of it at the moment I don't base it off of what I you know did before or anything like that so make sure you take into account everything I actually talk about besides just what did he say out of ten you know but really unpleasant um, too salty, too bitter, too, and, and like I said, there's some underlying weird flavor in there too. So, uh, not good for me. Yeah, it's cheap, actually in date, which is surprising. Um, but, you know, no good, not buying it again. Probably not going to dip the rest of these. Maybe I'll leave them around just in case, but probably not. Um, so if you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe, make sure to follow on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, abergs 95 if you need to get in touch with me, any of those will do, um, and we'll see you next time. Take care.